my name's Schnissa. I'm a second year biology student at the University of Exeter and I'm the challenge leader for the Exeter team. So me and my team at Exeter have done a few group quizzes through Zoom, which have been super, super fun. It's been really good for team bonding and to get to know each other. And I think those have raised over £600 for our group, which is really nice. <laughs> So we did a few Zoom calls beforehand to kind of decide on a topic for the quiz um, and decide some rounds, those were really important and then each member on our team chose a round that they wanted to be responsible for and then we set up a Google Slides page so that we could all edit the PowerPoint together and see the changes we'd make and it made it really easy because I could go through and like make sure everything was consistent and looked nice. So in the event page description on Facebook we said we'd like a suggested donation of £2.50 for an individual or five pounds if you're like a family and then we put our just giving links there so that our friends and families could donate to our pages um but we also said it's a suggested donation so if people wanted to join but couldn't donate at that particular time that was also fine um and it worked really well we often found that people donated more than what we had suggested so it was really nice at the beginning of the quiz, when we're introducing the quiz, we also have a section where we talk about the charity and the work that Play Action are doing. Um, people are really receptive to hearing about it and finding out where their donations would be going. And then at the same time, whilst I'm giving that introduction, Soph, who's the other challenge leader, would put our fundraising links in the chat. So it's more convenient for people to just click on it and make the donation whilst I'm talking about it. And then at the very end of the quiz, we just do a gentle reminder and we post those links again and I'll do a little closing um, paragraph about how helpful and how appreciative we are for their donations. We used Facebook and Instagram to publicise that we were doing an event. We invited all of our friends and we created a, an event page on Facebook. I'm pretty shameless when it comes to fundraising and like sharing what I'm doing because I think it's really good work and people deserve to know about it. So I will actively message in every group chat I'm in and be like, hey guys, I'm doing a quiz again please come along. So I reach out to like my housemates, I reach out to my friends from home, I reach out to my friends at uni, um, I post on my Instagram stories, I'll post about it on Facebook, I'll post on other people's Instagram stories. <laughs> I think that's a really good tool to use if your university has like a rag Instagram, get them to post about it as well because then I think people are more likely to donate if they can see that you're putting in an effort to actually do stuff. <laughs> I think going back to like the previous point, posting about it and letting people know what you're doing and then on top of that thanking your donors, that's been really helpful for me because I think people like the kind of gratification of like oh look I've done a good thing. So I definitely think thanking your donors and letting people know that people are supporting you because I think some people are really weary about being like the first person to donate or being the only person to donate so showing like hey other people are doing it too. Um, people are more likely to contribute. <laughs>